Hi, welcome to Gadana Tutorials. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest way to create a classroom notebook using Microsoft Teams. It's important to know this tutorial is for employees who already have their team room set with their students. If you do not have this done, please feel free to visit my other tutorials. The first thing you're gonna do is choose your browser. Today, I'm gonna to be working with Google Chrome. Once you're logged into your browser, log in into your organization or your portal. In this case, I'm going to be going into my employee portal. Now that I'm logged into my employee portal, I'm going to scroll down and find the big orange box that says Office 365. That is going to prompt me to a new sign-in page. Here, you're going to use your same employee ID, but this time you're going to add at dateschools.net. Your password is going to be the same one you use initially to get into your portal. Once this is done, you're going to be prompted into a page full of different tools that you can use. Today, we're going to be working on this little purple one that says Teams. The only thing you have to do is go to the left panel, click the word Team, and then find your classroom. Mine is down here. So once I do that, I find my classroom teams. This is where all my students are logged into every single day. I'm gonna come up here and choose class notebook. Now, your class notebook is gonna be set up with OneNote. You're gonna click that button. It's gonna give you two options. You can do an existing notebook content or a blank notebook. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using a blank notebook. Over here, it's gonna tell you what you're gonna get with your class notebook. You're gonna get three different sections. The first one is a collaboration space. This is where all your team is gonna create notes and have collaboration time. The second one is your content library. This is where the teacher gets to publish the course materials. And the last one are the student notebooks. This is individualized to every student. No student can view another student's notebook. We're going to hit next. Now this is the most important section. This is where you're going to create the student's notebook tabs. You can add sections or you can take away sections. I'm in primary, so I'm only going to do three sections for my students. The first one I'm going to put, it's a direction tab. This is very important because this is where I'm going to be uploading their daily schedules. The second one is work assignments. The reason I'm choosing this tab is because that's the tab where they're going to find everyday work. And the last one, instead of homework, I'm going to put a quiz tab. Oops. Once this is done, I'm going to hit create. It's going to take a few minutes for the classroom notebook to be ready. As you can see, my class notebook was finally downloaded. This is my welcome page. To view all the different tabs, I'm gonna click on this arrow. This is gonna open my panel. As you can see, I have all of these tabs. The main three are the top ones. All the other ones are my students. The first one is the welcome tab. In this, you can upload your schedules, directions, or class announcements. If you click below, there's a frequent ask question tab. This is for great help and support if you need for troubleshooting or just assistance. Let's say I don't need this for my students. I'm going to click over the tab and I'm just going to put delete page. It's going to ask you, are you sure of deleting this? Because once you delete, you cannot get it back. At this moment, my students don't know how to read this. So I'm gonna permanently delete it. The welcome page can be edited or it can simply be erased. At this moment, I'm going to erase it and permanently delete it. Now it's gonna tell me that this section is empty. You can enter to create a new page. I also like to left click and put new page. This line up here is gonna provide the title for my sub pages under this tab. 
I'm going to put welcome with an exclamation point and a happy face. After you do this, you can go ahead and write your message down here for your students. Right now, I don't have anything, so I will be back to revisit this. My next tab is collaboration space. And under it, I have a sub tab. It says getting started with the collaboration space. Feel free to read over this and it is a great help. At the moment, I don't need it. So I will be deleting it and having it empty, ready for my collaboration with my students. The last tab is the most important one, at least for me. This is your content library. The sub tab tells you how to use your content library. I'm gonna be posting a different tutorial on how to actually create worksheets for your students. However, the last thing I wanna show you guys is the actual notebooks of every student. So as you can see, I blurred out the names of my students for their privacy. But if you click over the name, my three tabs are gonna come out, all color coded for the convenience of the students. The first one is quizzes, second one's direction, third one is work assignment. If I click it at the moment, my students are gonna see nothing because I haven't uploaded anything. But eventually, when you post all your work, this is where they're gonna access it and this is where you're gonna be grading it. This concludes our tutorial today. Give yourself a big round of applause and a pat on the back. You have your first classroom notebook set up. Please feel free to like and comment below. Let me know if this was helpful and what would you like to learn next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share. This is Galdana Tutorials, signing off.